Hi, I'm John. I work at one of our Apple retail stores, and I'm going to give you a guided tour of MacBook Air, the world's thinnest notebook. With MacBook Air, we didn't just create a notebook that's amazingly thin. We included a full-size backlit keyboard and a stunning 13.3-inch widescreen display, all in a package that weighs only 3 pounds. At its thinnest point, it measures 0.16 inches, and at its maximum height, it's just 0.76 inches. It's made of sturdy aluminum and is durable enough to carry everywhere. MacBook Air ships with macOS 10 Leopard and iLife 08 and is optimized for the wireless world in a way that only Apple can do. It comes standard with the latest 802.11n and Bluetooth technology. And now I'd like to give you a closer look at MacBook Air and show you some of its innovative new features. The top two places where manufacturers compromise when building compact notebooks is on the keyboard and display. We didn't. When you open up MacBook Air, you'll see a gorgeous 13.3 inch widescreen display that instantly turns on to full brightness the second you open it up. That's because it uses LEDs for backlighting, delivering a crisp picture while consuming less power. So whether you're showing off a keynote presentation or watching a movie, everything will look stunning. Unlike ordinary ultra portables that have small, cramped keyboards, MacBook Air has a full-size keyboard. That's a pleasure to type on. And it's backlit. Just like with our MacBook Pro, when a decrease in ambient light is detected, the keyboard automatically illuminates from behind. This is especially useful if you're working on an airplane or taking presentation notes in a darkened conference room. Now let's take a look at the trackpad. Not only is it larger, but we've taken some of the multi-touch innovations we developed for the iPhone and adapted them for MacBook Air. You may be familiar with trackpad gestures on MacBook and MacBook Pro, such as two-finger tapping for a secondary click and two-finger scrolling. MacBook Air now allows you to pinch, swipe, and rotate so you can navigate your applications more efficiently. Let me show you. You can use pinch to zoom in and out. It works right in cover flow in the Finder. You simply place two fingers on the trackpad, your thumb and forefinger work best, and drag them outward while keeping contact with the trackpad. With pinch, you can easily switch between a larger icon view and a text view. It works with Safari too. If you get to a page with small text, just pinch to increase the font to a more readable size. To move back and forth through web pages, instead of hitting the forward and back buttons, you can use another gesture called swipe. Just use three fingers together. To page forward, swipe from left to right. To page backwards, swipe from right to left. These gestures work in iPhoto too. You can pinch to get a closer look at a shot and swipe to move through a photo slideshow. You can also use a gesture to rotate photos. All you do is select the photo, place two fingers on the trackpad and rotate your fingers. It's easy. Those are just a few of the things you can do with trackpad gestures. The system preferences on MacBook Air has demos on how to use them. The MagSafe power connector is located on the left side of MacBook Air. On the right side, all of the ports are hidden behind this little flip-down door. Simply pop it open and you'll find a headphone jack, USB port, and a new micro DVI port, which not only supports DVI, but VGA, composite, and S-video so you can easily connect projectors or external displays. Above the display is the built-in EyeSight video camera and microphone, which you can use for video conferencing or having fun with photo booth. A green light to the right of the camera indicates when the camera is in use. MacBook Air comes with an Intel Core 2 dual processor, 2 gigabytes of memory, and an 80 gigabyte hard drive. There's also an optional 64 gigabyte solid state hard drive. The one thing you won't find on MacBook Air is an optical drive. That's because with the powerful wireless capabilities we've built in, most users won't find the need for one. If you do need an optical drive, we've created a companion MacBook Air SuperDrive. It's powered by the USB port on MacBook Air, so there's no need to carry around a separate power adapter. But MacBook Air was built for the wireless world. Instead of watching DVDs, you can wirelessly rent movies from the iTunes Store. Instead of backing up files to a stack of disks, you can wirelessly back up files using Time Capsule. 
with macbook air you can even wirelessly access the optical drive of another mac or pc to install applications more about that in a minute with macbook air you can truly live your whole life wirelessly it starts the moment you take macbook air out of the box with a wireless migration assistant that lets you transfer all of your files applications and preferences from your old mac to your MacBook Air right over your wireless network. The first time you start up, a setup assistant will ask if you want to transfer your information. So what if you need to install software from a CD or DVD disc onto MacBook Air? Well, we've created a brand new feature called Remote Disk. It lets you wirelessly access the optical drive of another computer to install applications onto MacBook Air. It works with either a Mac or a PC. To set up Remote Disk, you just run a simple installer on the Mac or PC that has the optical drive you want to share. The installer is located on the Mac OS X install DVD that ships with MacBook Air. In the next room, I've already set up a PC for Remote Disk. Let me show you. Here I have a new copy of Microsoft Office for Mac that I want to install on my MacBook Air. I simply insert the disk into the PC. Now I look in the finder on my MacBook Air, and under Devices, there's an icon that says Remote Disk. I select it, and in the next column, I can see the remote disks that are available for sharing. Here is the Windows PC that I enabled. I select it, and I can see the Office install disk that I inserted a moment ago. Now I go through the installation just as if I had a built-in optical drive. I double-click to open it, and in a few minutes, the software will be fully installed on my MacBook Air wirelessly using the optical drive of the PC. Using Remote Disk with MacBook Air is really simple. You can even use it to install a new version of Mac OS X or reinstall the software that comes with MacBook Air. Go to apple.com for more details. So that's the MacBook Air, the world's thinnest notebook. MacBook Air is available at Apple retail stores, the Apple online store, and other retailers who sell Macs. Thank you.